Okay guys, we're gonna start painting our birch trees. We have our black and our white paint, and we are gonna come in and we're just gonna start painting these white lines. We're gonna have some that are closer and thicker and some that are further away. We're trying to create depth and atmospheric perspective. You're gonna want some that are thinner as well, as you can see me doing here. You're just gonna turn your brush sideways to get that nice thin line and make those trees look like they are further away. And then you're gonna come in with that brush, kind of turn it sideways and get some thick to thin lines for branches. And you're gonna do that on all of the trees. It's gonna also be very important that in some places of the trees that you create those little Y-shaped lines to create branches kind of branching off of other branches. It makes it more realistic and gives it a nice texture and depth. Now you're gonna take a little bit of black and you are going to mix it into your white to make gray. As you can see, it's a very small amount. You are then gonna take that gray and you are going to pull it in along the edges of your trees. In order to do this, to, to create a nice shadow, you are going to turn your brush sideways and just pull it in towards the middle. So start at the edge and then pull it in towards the middle. You're gonna do this on all of your trees and some on the branches and specifically where the branches connect to the trunk of the tree, you want to add a nice shadow. After you have all those shadows in, you're gonna get a little bit of black, a very, very small amount. You're just barely gonna dip your brush into the black paint and you're gonna create those black lines. What you don't wanna do is create a pattern, meaning you don't want them to be evenly spaced. You want it to be irregular and random on the tree trunk. And when you're doing this, these lines are horizontal. You will do some on the branches as well you want those lines to follow the direction of the branch so when your branch curves the line is going to start to curve a little bit and when it gets all the way out onto the branch the line will then be vertical you're going to add these darker spaces as well and you're going to do this with the exact same technique that you did with the gray you're going to start at the outer edge of the tree trunk you're going to turn your brush sideways and you're just going to pull it into the middle of the trunk when you do this the paint will sort of evenly disperse and then it creates a nice texture. Now you're gonna come in and add the snow. The snow is just done with a dabbing technique and you want the paint to be irregular amounts. So some areas will be thicker, some will be thinner, and you want that color of the paper to show through in some places to kind of resemble shadows and darker piles of snow around the trees. And you want your snow to come all the way up to the trunk line so that the tree looks like it's sitting down in the snow.
When you're adding your snow up next to the edge of your tree, you wanna make sure that the tree is in front of the snow. So make sure that you're getting that snow line up to the edge of the tree, but don't have it go on top of the tree whenever you are having it come up next to the edge of the trunk. And then you're going to just dab the snow out throughout the piece. You're then going to get a little bit of gray on your brush and you're going to dab in some shadows just for some layer and some depth to make the snow look more realistic. You're going to wait for your painting to dry and then you're going to come in with an extra fine tip sharpie and you're going to add in some very small thin fine line branches. This is just gonna give it texture and layers and detail and make it look even more realistic. When that is all done, you are then gonna get a piece of chipboard. You could use cardboard for this as well if you didn't have chipboard. And you're gonna glue it down on the piece and then you're gonna take a Sharpie and you're going to decorate the frame however you would like. And then you have your completed piece.